welcome you all uh, for this lesson uh, on uh, the technical uh, systems uh, lesson this lesson is about uh, the electrical system in the falcon 2000 ex easy as with uh, any aircraft details i'll just go over the system limitations first the maximum voltage is 29 decimal 5 volts maximum generator output on ground is 300 amps in flight in stabilized condition is 400 amps 500 amps for 160 seconds 600 amps for 40 seconds and 800 amps for 5 seconds the battery temperature at or above uh, 48.9 uh, uh, degree centigrade you will get a warm bat indication that is the caution and uh, at or above 71.1 battery temperature you will get a hot battery um, uh, warning indication so these are all commit to memory items so i will expect you all to uh, uh, memorize these uh, items electrical system fitted in this aircraft is a very simple system it's basically a dc system to start with there are two 24 volt 36 ampere nickel cadmium batteries these remain the basic primary source of dc power optionally uh, you can have 40 ampere hour batteries that can be fitted or 42 ampere hour lead acid batteries also can be fitted as i uh, told you these power up the aircraft before starting the apu or engines once the APU or, uh, is started, its generator uh, generates a DC current and these batteries can be charged. They also uh, remain the emergency source of power supply in case of a total electrical failure, in case of both generator failures and they will last for 77 minutes uh, if maximum loads or shed and you are flying on minimum loads let's continue there are two engine driven uh, rectifier alternators uh, that are being driven by the engine and located in the accessory gearbox these generators are regulated at 28.5 volt uh, volts and rated at 12 kilowatts and of course uh, there is a voltage regulator uh, which uh, pro provides several protections and one of them being over voltage protection at 31 volts it it will get disconnected from the system and there is one apu driven starter generator regulated once again at 28.5 volts rated at 9 kilowatt the load limits for uh, APU generator are as uh, given uh, uh, 300 amps uh, max continuous 375 amps for 3 minutes and 450 amps for 40 seconds and the voltage regulator of the APU also provides uh, protection against load limits and over voltage uh, protection uh, in, and in case of any surge etc. Okay, for on-ground requirement servicing and pre-start uh, uh, procedures requirement, a ground power unit can be connected to the aircraft and the entire aircraft uh, systems can be powered up. However, we remain to be cautious that the maximum load from the GPU should be restricted to 1000 amps. And when connected, the generators and batteries are automatically disconnected from the uh, uh, load uh, uh, system. If opted for, if uh, this provision is opted for, uh, there, there can be an option for charging the batteries on ground by the GPU. What we saw uh, was the external uh, system supply to the aircraft. 
there are some internal power supply in which uh, the crew and the uh, crew have got no control they are all inherent with the equipment we will go over them there are three emergency batteries supplying the emergency lighting system one uh, horizon battery uh, which supplies the secondary flight uh, display uh, for 160 minutes and there are four modular avionic unit display unit and uh, 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 power uh, supply systems which is, uh, supply power to the uh, systems which are as shown left and uh, left hand display unit upper display unit and modular avionics unit one channel a modular avionic unit two channel b and uh, powers the central maintenance computer also there are four network interface control uh, batteries which are powered on its own and which supply power uh, to the uh, network interface uh, controllers. So as you can see the important uh, systems of the aircraft, the nerve center communication and the computer systems of the aircraft have got their own inherent power supply systems so that any failures of the uh, the generators or batteries due to any other system will not affect uh, several basic functioning of the uh, uh, the uh, system uh, of the aircraft i just put this uh, picture so as to give you an idea as to where the equipment uh, are all fitted in this uh, aircraft and uh, as you can see mo mo some of these uh, uh, firstly the generators accessory gearbox generators engine driven generators as shown in the uh, picture and the APU starter generator uh, attached with the APU and the main electrical boxes and of course in the cockpit is this uh, circuit breaker overhead panel and electrical cabinets connections and uh, printed circuit boards etc the two batteries are located in the forward service compartment at the rear of the aircraft the, the location is called the forward service compartment there are two service compartments it is located in the forward service compartment at the rear and in this uh, diagram it can be very clearly seen as to how the batteries are fitted and of course the uh, generator control units and the APU control units and the main electrical boxes are also uh, fitted. Uh, once you go to the aircraft practically you will be able to um, locate these things very easily. Okay, let's talk about the load uh, distribution system. The aircraft uh, incorporates three main bus bars. Main bus bars. Firstly, the essential bus bar, which has got three sub bus bars A5, essential, and mini load bus bars. As the name indicates, there are several essential loads that are fitted in the essential bus bar. And there is one left hand bus bar and the right hand bus bar. The LH bus has got further sub buses A1, A2, A3, left hand avionics and cabin bus bars. Similarly, the right hand bus has got B1, B2, B3, right hand avionics and galley uh, uh, bus bars. And of course, there is a hot battery bus so called, um, which we will see what are the loads there and the APU and the safety loads are always powered when battery 1 is plugged. So the exact details of the services we will go in a later while. And of course there is another bus called the median bus which connects battery 2 bus to the right hand stroke essential bus. Of course there are no services fitted in this it is just a blank uh, bus bar which connects the battery to, to right hand essential bus bar.
Let's uh, go over the battery bus bar uh, services. Firstly, the refueling panel, the emergency and normal slack control unit. When you come to the system, you will find that the, it's a red marked uh, switch in the cockpit and it's important that there is a control in uh, by emergency means. APU starter circuit and uh, it is important to remember this. Uh, the battery one switch position has to be in the on position for the APU functioning. Engine fire extinguisher, secondary discharge, fuel shutoff valves, critical light circuits that is the dome lights, main access door, electrical lift baggage compartment lights, forward and aft servicing compartment lights and pylon lights provided at least one of the red uh, magnetic trip switches is selected on. This is also known as the crash logic. So uh, these services are also almost like uh, commit to memory items and I will expect you to learn them by memory. Okay, I have uh, drawn a schematic diagram of the load distribution uh, of the aircraft. Some of the um, sub buses have not been shown. Otherwise, the major bus bars have been shown, which is uh, good enough to understand the electrical distribution system. And I want you to follow the diagram right from bottom and we will work, uh, we will move towards the top of the diagram. First of all, on either side, you will see the generators Gen 1 and Gen 2 and uh, the APU and battery 1, battery 2 and of course the external power supply. As you can see, the battery 1 supplies the battery bus and it is always connected as long as it is connected to the, uh, 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 as long as the battery is connected. Now let's go upwards. There is a left hand bus, there is an essential bus, there is a median bus and there is a right hand bus. As I told you median bus has got no load, it is just a connecting bus of uh, 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 right hand bus to the essential bus. And the left hand bus, there are sub buses which major uh, ones being the cabin and the left hand avionics bus and the essential load has got a sub bus called the mini load bus these loads are very important and the right hand bus has got the galley and the right hand avionics uh, um, bus is also shown and of course the control switches are as shown which we are going to learn in more detail as we go in the lesson Here I have shown the picture of the cockpit uh, layout uh, which you have already been introduced in my in the earlier easy cockpit uh, lessons. Anyway, I will just take, uh, bring, uh, take your attention to the overhead panel in which this uh, electrical uh, system control unit is located. Have a good look at the overhead panel and we will move on to the next uh, uh, to see as to where the electrical control panel is, panel is located. Now here I have blown the picture of the overhead panel and I have highlighted in yellow uh, the electrical system control panel. So we are going to see this panel in greater detail as we go further. This is just to give you an idea of the, of the location in the cockpit. Okay, here I have uh, made a graphic of the electrical control panel which is located on the uh, uh, overhead panel of the cockpit and uh, I want you to spend some time in uh, uh, having a uh, good look. Of course I am going to explain each one of them as we go.
let's go over the control panel and uh, and the details thereof uh, a little bit in greater in detail they are very self explanatory however we will just uh, go over them firstly the two way magnetic contractor switches magnetic trip select switches as you can see there are five of them uh, starting from the left gen 1 uh, apu and the battery switch battery battery 1 battery 2 and the generator 2 and they are all colored in uh, red so you can understand that they are important there is a uh, one is on if you put it on the top then it will mean that it is on and when you put it on bottom it will mean that it is either uh, deselected or in in case of uh, overload etc it would have automatically tripped and the switch would have uh, been pushed to the off position so these are all the five magnetic trip select switches the next one is is the bus tie switch the bus tie switch is a rotary switch uh, which which will connect the left hand side bus bar to the right hand side bus bar normally uh, in under normal conditions it is kept isolated and uh, and in some conditions they are tied together which we will see in the operations of the electrical system but uh, just this is a rotary physical rotary switch in which you will have to if you turn it clockwise or anti clockwise you would have tied the buses both the bus both the buses together next one is the push select button there are several of them three seven of them as you can see these are all one push selection will either isolate or connect the respective bus bars to the main uh, power supply source and the there will be a lighting which will be uh, uh, lit up to indicate to the pilot so the ones which are shown are the cabin master the left hand avionics master and mini load master right hand avionics master and the galley master and of course the left hand isolation the right hand isolation push select buttons there are no services but they connect and disconnect the uh, uh, different sources to the different uh, loads and last but not least is the external power select button the functioning of it is we are going to see in its normal operations but i just want you to understand the location in addition i want you to notice that there are several lights which will be lit up in case of a requirement or in case of a failure or in case of a disconnect of the bus bar to warn the pilot of any change in status of the uh, 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 aircraft uh, electrical system okay uh, you already been introduced to the cockpit and uh, several display systems which which are possible now i am taking you all to the synoptic page and the the electrical page of the synoptic uh, menu so uh, just to give you an idea this just gives you uh, the schematic diagram of the electrical system and different indications uh, uh, to mean several things as, which you will all learn as we go uh, uh, through the lesson now firstly have a good look at the electrical uh, synoptic situations now i will go through the individual details here on the top is shown the left hand and right hand bus bar voltage uh, here it's indicating 28.5 which is the normal indication for any bus bar uh, uh, which is the correct voltage for the bus bars 
The next one is the bus type contact uh, uh, indications. Now uh, we earlier saw the rotary switch which is controlled on the overhead panel of the electrical panel. Now whenever you operate it there are the schematic diagram will also change and there are different color schemes which we will see as for different situations in normal and emergency situation as to how the color uh, schemes will change. Now the, these are all indications for uh, the magnetic trip uh, switches as uh, we discussed uh, is we saw that there are five switches and of course here I have highlighted four of them but the APUs also has got a, a contact uh, indication switch which right now it's given in the white but this also has got different color combinations. So there are five indications for the generator APU and the battery contact switches and uh, these indicate the generator and battery load I will not go uh, uh, too much in detail which you all understand and this is uh, where the battery temperature uh, will indicate and uh, we will go a little bit in detail uh, of these indications the ammeter the load uh, uh, the voltage and the load and the temperature indications we are going to go in little bit more details and of course if the airline uh, the operator has opted for it he could uh, install this uh, mechanism to charge the battery from GPU in which case this menu will also appear and if you take the cursor and click in the square where the charging batteries is written then it will turn green color and then the internal batteries would be charged from the GPU external power and of course this is the uh, push uh, select external power control unit. Let me introduce you to some uh, indications in the electrical panel that will give you an idea as to how uh, several indications uh, uh, appear in the easy cockpit. Of course we are not going to cover every indication in great detail because there are several of them and it is impossible to cover but uh, they all present a logic and so it is easy for you to interpret and understand. Anyway. Let us go over the indications. Firstly, the battery uh, temperature indications. As you can see, the warm temperature indications are displayed in amber background. Here, in this case, it is 60 degree centigrade is uh, indicated. And if, if it exceeds the limits, then it changes to red. And uh, the hot temperature indications are in red background. Of course, dashes are displayed if an invalid data uh, uh, or a valid data is not available. Then let us go up uh, for the uh, load indications, the ampere uh, indications. Uh, normal values are displayed in green and uh, a little bit of abnormal values are displayed in amber and of course dashes are displayed when valid data is not presented. This uh, I have shown for battery load but Similar indications are also available for the generator. We will go on the top to see the battery and the bus bar voltage indications. Here they are. The normal voltage is displayed in green 28.5. And if it is anything abnormal, it is it changes over to amber. And once again, dashes uh, indicate that there is no valid data. So uh, these are the indications uh, for each one, each color coding there is a, uh, a different meaning and uh, when we come to the uh, details of the working of the system then we are going to learn them. Uh, uh, may not be every every indication but majority of them we will be 
uh, going through them. We come to the end of the lesson and uh, we saw the schematic and the general electrical system provisions, load distributions and the bus bars and uh, the salient aspects of the electrical system. Now we are going to see further in, the, in our next lesson and uh, following lesson, we are going to see normal operations and abnormal and emergency operations, indications uh, and actions thereof. Uh, I hope uh, you found this uh, lesson useful. Uh, if there are any suggestions to improve the lesson, uh, please uh, feel free to uh, uh, give a mail on the mail ID given on the bottom of this screen. Thank you all for going through the lesson.